Hey everyone, what's up? This is Markus with Future Studio University. Welcome to another video on our Happy series. Happy by default ships with a powerful plugin system right away. So it's kind of a recommended way to build your application with plugins. So even your own functionality, not just extending from the ecosystem, but building your own functionality with plugins is also recommended. So optimally, you can break down your application logic into multiple smaller plugins and compose your application with all these little plugins and let the Happy server do the composition and the um, registering of each individual plugin. Okay, so, and within this tutorial, you will learn how to do it, how to register functionality and extend the server with plugins. And we will also, also show you a way to add options to the plugins to customize the behavior. So before diving into the details, you should know that you can find the tutorial with the code snippets on our website. It's the first thing in the description below. So check it out. Okay, I've already prepared a sample project that just imports the happy dependency, creates a server, adds a connection on local host with port 3000 and ultimately starts the server and console logs the connection. What we want to do is to register additional functionality using plugins. There are multiple plugins within the happy ecosystem. So you can add like view support or serving static files, or there's even a custom plugin by Future Studio that uh, decorates the request and adds the client location to, to your request. And okay, so let's just go ahead and do what is required to add functionality and extend your server. The main point is the server register method. You register new functionality to the server by either using a single object, or you can even register multiple plugins using an array of individual objects. So the next thing to do is to use the register key and require a, a package that you want to add to the happy server. So let's go with the happy geolocate plugin that I've mentioned before. You can find more details on the plugin itself on our GitHub page. I have opened it before and you can check it out if it's below the FS open source user and within the happy geolocate. Okay, so what the plugin does is it adds the location object. It decorates the request object with the user's location. And to request the user's location, it does a background request to a service called IP info. And yeah, well, to come back to our server.register method, the register key does the actual registration. Additionally, you can add options to your, to your plugin to customize behavior. For the happy geolocate plugin, we have an option called enabled by default. It's a Boolean value and by default it's set to true. So if you don't want the plugin enabled by default, you can set it to false. So we can, for illustration purposes, I will leave the options object inside to, and even set the default value to true. So the plugin is enabled. And the next block that you need to care about for the server register method is the error callback. So you need to check if an error occurs during the registration of your plugins. So like uh, I didn't set to my script six yet. Okay. <clears throat> what you now need to do is to check if an error occurs during the registration process of a plugin and handle the error properly. At this point, we'll just throw an error so the server doesn't start. But as I already said, you need to handle the error callback, which means there are some kind of asynchronous processing going on, and we need to move the server start message into the callback. Okay. At this point, the server or the project as it is now should start right away, but the happy geolocate plugin adds the location object to the request and the request is available within a route handler. So let's just add a route 
to our server. Okay, I'm just going to reply the location for the user so we can see if it actually is, if the plugin actually registers correctly and everything works like expected. So let's start the server. I need to make sure it runs on the All right. Okay. Let's check local host result. Oh, sorry. Okay, as you can see, the reply or the location is just the bogan on our local host. It's because the happy process doesn't have my external IP available because it's the service started on my local machine and I'm requesting from a local machine. So the request doesn't have the, any, any external IP address set. So it's, it's totally fine. You can see that it works and you can, you can go ahead and register another another plugin like this. So add another key and require another plugin like having the static file support within Happy using the inert plugin or even another plugin for adding view support like using the vision. We will dive deep into the individual plugins like inert within another video and Let's shortly recap what you have learned within this video. To extend the service functionality with plugins, you need to use the server.register method and add either an array or individual objects to as a parameter. Within these objects, you have to provide the key register and require the additional or require the specific happy plugin. Additionally, you can set and customize the behavior of the plugins using an options object. It is a, just a JavaScript object with a key value for it. Adding multiple plugins requires you to use the array parameter and you can just register them right away. Make sure you handle the error callback for the register method and add any additional functionality afterwards like adding routes or whatever you want. So, so that's all you need to add the service functionality. All right, we hope you enjoyed this video on how to extend and add functionality to your happy server. We hope you liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you learned something new and see you next time. Enjoy coding and make it rock. <laughs>